The Annexes section. Here you can add up to 10 annexes relevant to your application. However, the following documents are mandatory. 1. The Declaration of Honor, which you can download from this page. You must print it, have it signed by the legal representative by hand, scanned it and attached as an annex to your online application by clicking the Add Declaration of Honor button. 2. Then you must attach a timetable. You can download a template using the special button or find it on the National Agency's website. Further down, you have general documents and a button for adding files. You should include partner mandates for each partner. The document should be printed, signed by both parties and annexed. Make sure that all the information in the partner mandates is accurate and matches the participant portal and supporting documents for each organization. Applicants must ensure that all documents specified in the checklist are submitted electronically with the application. If you want to delete the document added, you have a delete button on the right-hand side of each document. You can delete documents very easily in case you uploaded something that is not relevant for the project. Please note that only PDF, Doc, DocX, Excel, JPEG, TXT, ODT and ODS files can be submitted electronically and no other files will be accepted. Lastly, you have the checklist, which provides a quick review so you can mark off the completed submission activities. Make sure you fulfill all of the listed requirements. Tick the checkboxes, making sure that your application fulfills the eligibility criteria listed in the program guide, that all relevant fields have been completed and that you have chosen the correct national agency. Then scroll down to the Data Protection Notice, which provides information on data protection. All applicants must read in full, including the legal representative who signs the document. So you agree to the Data Protection Notice, and then you have the potential submission. Once you have completed the application form, you need to check the following components. 1. All mandatory fields have been completed. 2. You have read the Data Protection Notice. 3. Legal representative of the applicant has printed the Declaration of Honor, read it, completed the required fields and signed it. 4. Other relevant annexes have been attached. Then, you can click the Submit button which is down here. The Submit button becomes available only if all of your sections are in green, which unfortunately in this example is not the case. If the submission is successful, the submission summary should be updated with the submission ID. Here are some hints and tips on how to complete your application form. Read all our guides and make sure you are aware of the eligibility criteria for the specific type of project that you are applying for. Submit the application as early as possible. The deadline mentioned in the application form is in Brussels time, so make sure you submit your application no later than 12 a.m. in the Central European time zone on the deadline date. Leave plenty of time for completing your application and submitting it before the deadline, in case of any unexpected difficulties, particularly unexpected technical issues. Make sure you are connected to the internet at all times while completing your application. Download the completed PDF version for your own records, which can be done via the PDF button. Applicants can also share applications on a read-only basis with another organization or another user who has an EU login account. Use the sharing button down here under the guidelines. Save the final copy of your application in case of any queries. If there are any technical issues preventing the form from being submitted and you are unable to submit the application, you should follow the alternative submission procedure described in the guide for applicants. You must do a screenshot of the submission summary page demonstrating that the web form could not be submitted and email this along with your application and annexes to the national agency within the two hours of the official deadline. Lastly, please be advised that applicants cannot make any changes to their grant application after the submission deadline. So, this was the complete step-by-step -step walkthrough of Key Action 105.